This video is sponsored by Value Testers, where all prices are negotiable. Best online store for field piece, backer rack, and tester equipment. Special free two-day shipping available on selected seasonal products. Link in description below. This one here, I gotta go um, work on a boiler. It's got antifreeze in it. It's got some leaks. And the guy's complaining about no hot water to his showers, so probably a tempering valve issue. But um, he said he's only got five gallons of antifreeze in there. I said, well, that doesn't seem like a lot. So I got another four gallons. I had. Uh, I'm gonna drain some out, and I'll add the you know the four gallons plus whatever I need uh, of his stuff that's mixed. He said the guy said it's only a five gallon boiler job and it froze last year. So I said, well, I guess the five gallons wasn't enough if it froze. So I'll add the other four, which is nine, which should be all right. Uh, I know he's got a high vent that's got a lot of, uh, looks like it's leaking. And uh, a couple of issues with valves uh, that are corroded or something. So we'll go over there and try to get you some shots if I can. Drive. Oh, yeah, you love driving. You love driving. I know, yeah, you love to drive. Yeah, you love driving. This Molly is working again, y'all. She is working again. Good morning, Molly. Turn left on Kings Hill Road. Upstairs, we got hot water coming into this temperin valve and cold water, and nothing going out. So, I did try to change just the insert, and still the same problem. So, what I'm gonna do is I think it's inside there on this, on this spring device or something. So I want to do is I want to put a ball valve in here on the cold side. So I'm going to rework this. I'll make a cut here, a cut here, and I might be able to put this in over here with a ball valve. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. Rework it. Try this at home. Don't try this at home. Yeah. Gotta get a ball valve on that coal side so we can shut it off. When in Rome, do as the Romans, they say. I don't want to have it looking too, too pretty. Let's 
It's one of those lead free tempering valves. So it's hot coming in, cold, and then mix. Sometimes it's inside here that's the problem on the bottom here. That's probably what I'm thinking it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Thing rotted right out. There's supposed to be a brass thing on the bottom there and it's not even in there. It's rotted away. I think that's our problem. She's wide open. So we can solder it up. Something called pressure relief. That might help me get rid of some of the water. Hopefully I got no leaks. <coughs> Not easy being cheesy, mama. Nope. Not easy. <laughs> That's my all here. She ain't no Taj Mahal here, mama. We'll see.
see if we got any leaks. I mean, it's easy enough to find out. Turn the water on. If it leaks, we go fix it. Rocket science. See if it leaks. Look like it. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. She's crusty. Going up, it's going up pretty warm here, so we'll have to see what it does with the bath. Coil might be kind of blocked too. Get a, get a well here. The shower? Yeah. Oh, so you don't have a tub here, it's just no, a shower. This is a corner. How is it feeling? It's better than it was before you came. It's a lot better. It's a lot better, this but it, to lot. get it 100%, we're going to have to change that coil if it's full of rust. Okay. Eventually we will. Well, you, well, you could, uh, Better than it was, no, right? This is great. This is We've never been right. So. At least you could take a shower. Yeah. So you see what I did down there? I put a shut off on that thing. I saw it. It's awesome. So it's a lot better than it was with putting a new shut off in there. But if he wants it 100%, we're going to have to change this coil. He's got a lot of rust in this house, he says. When a well. Got a rusty well here. He said it's really bad. He should put a filter on it or something. Not good. Guys, we're gonna change the high vent there. And we'll put the leaf valve. She's crusty. We gotta change that too. That's copper. It's got antifreeze in the system. So we'll shut this off. We'll drain it into a bucket and we'll have to repump it back in. Get a couple of zone valves we'll have to pull down. So I can purge it after. I got four gallons of new stuff here I'm going to use. Here's the purge stations right there, up high up against the ceiling. You'd know it, right? So I put it, I poked it up. So after I'm, I'll be ready to pump it back in. See? In, out. So I'm going to prime this pump as I drain it. And that's off, the feet is off. I should be able to drain it. I'll do my work. Don't look like any freezing there to me. I can smell it though. He said he'd only got five gallons in there, so not a lot. I will do that high vent first, change that. And then we'll do this relief. It is copper. I should be able to just cut that and make it a little shorter so we can put a bucket. Look at the slime. Yeehaw. That's a good light called most to it. Eats it, eats the rubbers. Shouldn't be anything in there. We'll put a new 
I meant no relief valve. We'll be all right. She's across the wall, Mr. Grinch. I don't think it's a, a bad tank. Kind of did it on the fly. Caught the stuff in the bucket. Not a lot come out. I did put pipe rope on the inside of the threads on that, so it should be good. Ain't rocket science. Alright, so I cut that down so you can put a bucket under it if you had to. Purge valves over there, I'm gonna have to get some hoses on there right now first. Alright, okay, so I got the I got the pump. Gonna pump in the bottom there. And it's gonna go up through. I'm gonna do one. We got both zone valves opened, and uh, that's gonna be a transfer bucket. Then if I need more water, I'll use the old stuff I got here. Well, we should be able to plug it in. filled up and through here first.
and take some more out with you. All the zone heads, and then we should be good. We just take these hoses and all this apart, and we should be ready to go. All right, guys, it's not building pressure, so we should be good with that. I don't think the the tank's bad. Off. New high vent. I restored the heads. The zone valves are back. Both ball valves are open. We should be good. Alright, new tempering valve, new relief valve, new high vent. Added glycol to system and purge zones. That should be fine. I'm maintaining good there, pressure. I gotta get more price on a water softener too. I don't even know what kind of panel that is. Uh, the only thing is, I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to put a plug over here if we put it, you know, put it over here somewhere. It's three quarter. But, uh. Yeah, so there's not even a switch on this thing. I mean, look at the way they did stuff. What else did you need done? Did uh, you say? So I have a loop there that'll need to be done. And I was wondering if, uh, is this safe right next to the electricity like that? I'd probably put no burst hoses on as long as it's not leaking. Yeah, okay. They're new. They're new, right? Yeah. They are new. They are new. Um, every couple of years, you got to change them. We'll go with the no burst. They got like a stainless coating on it. Okay. And yeah, we could put new valves in. You got a leak over here, you said. I've been here working on stuff. Yeah. So what, the tape? The tape's holding? Yeah, the tape's holding pretty Look well. Look at that, huh? I love electrical tape. Electrical tape. 20 wraps and it stops leaking. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. <laughs> I left the tape, but I don't have to like keep looking. So it did stop it. It did. All right, so yeah, I'll get you. I'll tab that water tested, and we'll find out what you need for a system here. I mean, right. that would be the yeah. Cause here's my tag. Oh nine. Pump switch. Wow. Ten years ago. At the end of the street, turn left. 